What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. Just over the fan TV. Back at another video. So yesterday, the Raven signed Stephen Means. I can't, I couldn't get to it yesterday, but we're gonna get to it now. And I'm not gonna lie, honestly, the sign in is a little confusing for me. Okay. Uh, before we get into that, like, comment, subscribe. We're over 200 subscribers. Uh, not too far away. Thank you. So thank you guys who have been subscribing, liking the videos, and everything like that. Let's continue to do that. All right. So the Raven signed Stephen Means. Okay. Uh, fifth round draft pick. Uh, 2013 draft. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, played there two years, 2013-2014. Uh, came to the Ravens in 2014-2015. Honestly, I don't remember Stephen Means being on the team, but that's probably because he only played one game, okay? Um, after that, he kind of bounced around the league. Apparently, he was on the Eagles team that won the Super Bowl. I think he played about six games for them. Uh, also, uh, these last four years, he played for the uh, Atlanta Falcons, so from 2018-2021. And he only consistently got playing time these last two seasons for Atlanta. Uh, 2020, he played 16 games. 2021, he played 14 games. Uh, 31 years old right now. His current career high is three sacks in a season, which he got for uh, Atlanta in 2020. And last year, he played 14 games, uh, played 72% of the team snaps, and recorded zero sacks. So look. I understand the definition of a camp body. I understand that we need bodies. Just, you know, people get hurt. People go down. I get all of that. He's been here before. He's familiar with the team. On and on and on. I get that. My issue is, does it help the team moving forward? Uh, apparently, so he's here for one. Let's start with why he's here. Okay. He had a tryout with the Ravens over this uh, mandatory mini camp period. Apparently, he impressed enough, obviously, to be signed. Uh, there was even reports that, you know, during uh, maybe a one-on-one -on -one drill or something like that, he did a nice spin move on uh, the rookie Daniel Falele. And uh, so maybe that, that that impressed, you know, the team and say, okay, look, we can sign this guy on. My only issue is if you go and sign a camp body, right, why not Why not somebody who's who's younger, right? 30, he's 31 years old with almost no production. Or if you're going to sign somebody, why not Jason Pierre-Paul? Now, not saying signing Steven means doesn't mean they can't sign J.C. Pierre Paul because obviously they still could. It's just a, the timeline is just a little strange to me, okay? When I look at JPP, it's only a two year age difference. JPP is 33 years old. Steven means 31, like, like I mentioned. Um, over the last three seasons, Pierre Paul has had, let's see, eight and a half sacks 2019 and 10 games, nine and a half sacks in 2020 and 16 games. And his production did fall off last year, two and a half sacks in 12 games. Okay. Um, but this guy who obviously brings more pass rush acclaim than Steven Means does. Now, like I said, I get the, I get the purpose of a camp body. I, I really do. But if you were going to do that, my idea would be to bring in somebody that's one of two things. A young player that you could develop. And maybe instead of just being a camp body, he turns out to be a guy maybe you, you can stash on the practice squad, you know, something like that. Or two, you get a guy who's been productive in the NFL. Now, now Stephen Mays, I'm not trying to call him out saying he's a bad player, just like that. He, you know, he's, he's, he's fine. You know, he was good enough to be a starter on the NFL team for the last two seasons. That's that's an impressive feat in, in itself, right? Played for the Falcons. He, uh, he started all 16 games, I believe, in 2020, or might have been 11 out of 16. I'll put the... The graphic up there and he started it uh last year the 14 games he did play he started so you know that's that's good you know what i mean but it's just the fact that when you're building this roster shaping it the ravens have a need an outside linebacker and a defensive end pass rusher okay they have a need there steven means while he plays that position doesn't really fill the need we need guys that get to the quarterback and actually bring them to the ground and for a guy to play I think it's almost like 700 snaps last year and to have no sacks it's a hard sell for me it's a hard sell and i get it he was on a bad atlanta falcons team uh well they kind of overachieved actually i mean they went like seven and ten so you know it's probably actually better than most people thought they were going to go but point being so he played you know 16 out of 17 games i'm sorry no i'm sorry 14 out of 17 games uh almost 700 snaps and you know, no, no sacks. It's just a hard, hard sell for me, man. It's a hard sell. Um, so hopefully that this move for Steven means isn't the last move we see 
because obviously there's Justin Houston, there's Jason Pierre Paul. The Ravens have a need at pass rusher, okay? And Steven Means is not a guy who solves this need or even adds to the room, in my opinion, to um, give any kind of competition, okay? Now, listen, it's just going into training camp next month, so he can prove me wrong. I, and I, I hope he does. I really do. Maybe he ends up being somebody who can help this team out in some capacity. But, you know, or it just could be a, a camp body signing. So it's one of those things that could mean something. It could mean nothing, you know. And um, that is what it is with Steven Means. So the Ravens see a need. When Ravens see a need on the team, they attack it. All right. And outside linebacker is no different. They know that they need pass rush. They know that. The room right now, especially with the injuries to Ojabo and Bowser, um, they need help. They know that. So they're trying to address it. So I'll give them credit for that, but I can't give them credit for signing Stephen Means. So hopefully that this sign doesn't mean that we won't sign anybody else. But, you know, we'll see how he performs in camp and we'll see and we'll go from there. You know, hopefully he outperforms expectations and maybe he's a guy who actually significantly helps his team. I don't know. But that's my breakdown of the sign of Stephen Means. It's one of those things that could, honestly, it could be forgotten in a month's time and he could be cut or he could be a surprise and make the roster, you know. But we'll, we'll see what happens. It's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.